Hey guys, Creekside Baits here, just outside, sitting here with my dog, just going over uh, this double up, you know, the uh, yum double up kind of type thing, but I made it my own. Uh, this time I didn't use, uh, I didn't use the uh, coat hanger, I used some flag posts you can get at Home Depot's or Lowe's, you know, just to, th that, the flags you see on the side of the road. Just the orange ones or the pink ones. This is a pink one. It doesn't matter. Bent it in half. Uh, crimped the sides of these so they could hold it. Crushed them down with some pliers. It's really easy. It's a lot easier than using uh, coat hangers, but coat hangers are stronger. I'm actually going to make a double up on a coat hanger so I can do that. Might replace this double up. But I use some putty that's really hard. I think I liked the video that shows you how to what kind of putty to use but I'll put the uh, uh, the name of the putty in the description uh, I don't know the name but I'll put it in the description like I said I got two Pogey swimming shads on here they look really good they're a four inch size they look really good two of them I actually on my uh, bigger Alabama rig I took off the power grubs and uh, I was going to put them on here, but they didn't look that good. So I just got the two shads going on. Uh, the uh, the uh, best part about this is, is you can make them in any size, whatever you want, whatever materials. I'm actually trying to make one that's super tough uh, using this really, really hard wire material that won't really break. It won't wear that easy. I got some next to my bed. I'm trying to make it right now, but it's going to be really hard. I might need to use like a lighter to melt it down and hammer and other stuff, but that doesn't matter. This, uh, this setup I got right here is on a, uh, the Zebco rod, my seven foot Zebco rod with my Sigma 6 with a new 30 pound test that I got it's at my grandpa's house right now so I can't really use it anyways uh, double up system going on really good um, the Pogey swimming shads actually I uh, I put some on the, the uh, three one I took like I said I took the grubs off and I put them on there and they look really great with that shiner in the middle swimming. I'm going to have to make a video of that actually. Like if I go when I go down to my lake, I might go this week since it's Thanksgiving. I might go down there and look at it. You know, make a video of that. Maybe if I catch a fish, that'd be really good. Like I don't care what size be my first fish ever. And if I uh if I catch a fish, if I catch if I cast this out and I catch two fish on here, that's going to be a really big video. I'm going to feel great about it. Um, you know, contest, you know, stuff like that. Uh, in my area, uh, there are going to be some videos coming up. They have a new store, Academy Sports.com. You can check them out. They're like a lower brand of Cabela's, which personally I think, I, it's just my opinion, is a lower brand of Bass Pro Shops. And Bass Pro Shops is pretty good. Um, and they're going to build Bass Pro Shops too. So we're going to have two uh, two uh, new outdoor places. I haven't checked out that uh, academy yet. But when I do, I'm going to buy a lot of stuff. I heard they sell Huddleston's. Uh, yum. I couldn't get Yum at uh, Walmart. Uh, Havoc. I could get Berkeley, but I couldn't. I, there's tons of Zooms down there. So like Havoc. Net bait is what I'm really looking for since it's getting into that winter time. I'm hoping to go buy some packet chunks, do a review, and um, do a test tank of that. Alright, uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, I know I've been liking a lot of stuff that isn't fishing, but that's just the stuff that I'm interested in. So it doesn't mean I'm transitioning from fishing to video games. Just It's just the stuff I'm interested in. Uh, thank you for watching.